What's going on indeed, John Del Rosa here. We are 10 weeks out from the Arnold Classic Brazil. I'm very excited, a um, little ahead of schedule, you know, so it's exciting for me because uh, I'm normally not in this position. But uh, yeah, we're hitting shoulders today. Uh, should be a fun workout. Hope you guys like it. What's going on, MD? John De La Rosa here. We're 10 weeks out from the Arnold Classic Brazil, about 13 weeks out from the New York Pro, and 15 weeks out from Toronto. Um, it's been a great year for me. Um, you know, as everybody knows, I opened up my store. I had a good, a good run last year with New York and Toronto. This year we're doing the Arnold Classic, and I'm honored to be a part of that. Um, great, great show. Um, it's going to be a great fun event for me um you know traveling that far and seeing brazil for the first time and competing against all my you know all my friends like juan and you know some other guys that'll be there so i'm really looking forward to it um working my ass off uh i think this is the best package that i've put together thus far i'm a little bigger um a little ahead of schedule as far as conditioning um to this point so everything seems to be clicking and you know i'm really excited to present the package that i'm going to present this year And then I moved on to some um, military presses on the uh, free bar. So uh, we went up to three plates there. Um, as you can see, it was <laughs> it was really heavy. The, the the seat was really low here. So, you know, but it is good. It's a really great um, machine. It forces you to use a lot of your front delts um, and nothing from your legs, which is it's good. Um, so we worked up to three plates there. I think it got five or six reps. And then I went on to the Smith machine press. <laughs> After the military presses, I went to the Smith machine press and uh, we went there up to three plates. Uh, again, I was trying to get 10 to 15 reps on every set. Um, the last set, I did a drop set from 3-2 to 1 plate um, to failure on, on every uh, drop set there. Okay. Uh, the next exercise I went to was um, rear lateral uh, movement that I like to do. Um, I like doing it over the bench that way. Um, kind of just suspends your arms and forces you to use a lot of your rear delt as opposed to using like a fly machine and you know I, I just feel like you're, you're able to contract a little bit better the rear delt's a really hard muscle to contract solely especially with when you're you know using so much of your back also so um i feel like when your your arms are hanging over that way you're able to contract a little bit more um, just using your, your rear delt. So that's why I like to do it that way. Hope you guys can uh, try it out some sometime in your gym and hopefully you guys like it. Um, from the rear delt, um, we went to side laterals, superset it with some front raises. I like doing that um, just because it forces a ton of blood into the muscle. I wasn't going too heavy on the front raises as you'll be able to see, I, I went up to 40 pounds there. But on the side laterals, I went up to, I think, about 40 or 45 pounds, which is heavy. Um, I normally don't like to go past that. Just because if you're swinging around the weight, I don't feel like you're getting as much out of your, your the medial head as, as you should. Um, you start, you know, recouping, re recruiting your front delt and your traps to pull the weight up. And, you know, it's not really productive during the workout especially when you're just trying to build that capped shoulder that we're all trying to get 
Um, so yeah, if uh, if you guys want to really fry your your rear delt or your side delts, try that movement out. You do some side laterals um, and then superset it with some front front raises. This year we're working with Chris Aceto. I'm really, really excited about that. Things are coming along really, really well. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty ahead of schedule, or at least we think so. Um, heavier than I've ever been, and prep is just really, really easy with Chris. He makes things so, so easy. It makes you so comfortable. Um, so, you know, we're really looking forward to bringing the best package that we can to Brazil and New York and then Toronto, and hopefully leading into the uh, Olympia this year. So I hope you guys stay tuned. We got another 10 weeks of hardcore training, dieting, you know, the whole shabil, the whole shebang. So uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Lastly, I went into uh, upright rows. It's one of my favorite exercises. I feel like it's one of the exercises that's created a lot of width in my, uh, uh, across my chest and in my shoulders. Um, Really, it'll just just really blast out your your shoulders, especially at the top of the movement. You, uh, if you're doing them correctly, you get a really strong contraction at the top across um, your medial head and the rear delt. Um, <clears throat> as, as long as you're not contracting your traps, again, it's it's one of the key things that you got to do when you're uh, working your shoulders, just trying to keep your traps out of it. And I think it's been um, again a great great off season for me. My shoulders have grown. Uh, I feel like I've made great, great improvements with my chest, and I think it's going to make all the difference come uh, Brazil. On the upright rows, you'll notice that I did an ascending set. Um, it's tough as balls to do that, <laughs> uh, especially towards the end of your workout. You, you're feeling uh, drained and ready to give up, and you know. So the ascending set, it, it kind of gets my gets my adrenaline flowing. You know, I know more weight's coming, so I, you know I'm trying to pull it up as best I can. Um, and I feel like you're, you're taxing the muscle a little bit more when you do it that way, as opposed to doing a drop set. Um, it gets easier when you're doing a drop set. Obviously, doing an ascending set, it gets harder. So. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really fun thing for me to do. Like I said, it gets my adrenaline going. I know more weight's coming. So, uh, you know, kind of pushes me along. Big thank you to MD Steve, Steve Blackman for uh, you know always giving us the best coverage and following following us on our journeys to the show. Um, best place to uh, get all the information you can get. As always, thank you to Beth Francis, Powerhouse Gym, Steve Weinberger for allowing me to get this great workout in here and always having your doors open for me. Um, big thank you to MHP. Um, and everybody else who you know pushes me and supports me going into every season that I've been competing. Thank you all.